Hey everyone, um, sorry for this poorly produced sort of impromptu video here. I just wanted to make a video because it was uh, talking about an issue I had with my printer um, and having some issue with prints, in particular with the Onyx Tough Resin. Now, honestly, as I'm going to explain, it has nothing to do with the resin. It has to do with me. Um, and I'm heading out for the rest of the you know, for the rest of the weekend, and I didn't want to leave this undone, and I didn't want someone to have to stay late to video this. So here we go. Anyway, it's about updating your software, updating your firmware. Don't be like me. Make sure you do it. Now, that may sound like, wow, how does this guy not know how to update his uh, printer, his software? It's not that I don't know how. I made a mistake and forgot that the updating process is a little bit different with Sprint Ray products. And um, anyway, I got lazy with it in my memory. I uh, thought I was checking appropriately and I wasn't. So I just wanna make this quick video showing you and, and reminding you sort of how you're supposed to do this. And um, really quickly, informally, it's not gonna, I'm gonna be literally uh, filming a computer screen, filming the, the, the uh, printer. I just wanna, yeah, I want to save you guys some trouble in case you're having issues and you are and you don't know how to update. You re think you do, and you might be thinking all along like me that you're up to date when you aren't. So let me flip the camera around, um, and I'll caution you, I've got two different printers. I've got a 95S and the original 55. So you're going to see kind of both. I'm not going to go through, it's not going to take a lot of time repeating both of them, but I, it's going to show you um, that they look different. So, so I've got my 95S over here. And then I've got my 55 over here. And in particular, I was dealing with this guy. I was getting bad prints with, I can get Onyx printing great, but Tough was having an issue. And the fit was terrible, meaning everything was too tight. And I couldn't get screws in the screw channels. They were literally completely uh, occluded and they were over cured. And it turns out it's my fault. So here's the thing. Well, you th if you think you go to this touchscreen and you press settings and you look, oh, check for updates, that's not what you need to be doing. That only works if you have already discovered that there's an update. To do it, what you need to do is you need to go into your software, uh, in your Rayware, the desktop software, come up to um, uh, print, go to manage printers, and you're gonna see a window that looks like this, okay? So you're gonna have the ability to check for updates here, and all, I've just completed a print here, but the same thing. When you see that there's an update available, when you download the update, then you can come over here and search for updates. It will connect to the computer and see it, and then you can install it. This isn't searching the web, this is searching your desktop software that the printer is linked to. Now, on the, the S units, you can actually push the update from the desktop software. This one, you have to pull it, if you will, from here. So anyway, at that point, you're good. Now, you do have to make sure to get the most up-to-date version, you also need to make sure that your version of uh, Rayware desktop is up-to-date. And so to check that, you need to go to the, Rayware, the uh, Sprint Ray website, check the version. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, so I am on the uh, SprintRay.com website, and if I come over here to uh, SprintRay, um, oh yeah, sorry, 3D Printing Products, and then come right down here to Rayware Desktop, you're gonna see the version of the software right here. If this matches what you've got, great. If it doesn't, this is the first step. Make sure this is up to date. Then when you open up Rayware, you're going to be able to make sure that you have the most up-to-date firmware running to your printer. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, I apologize. Well, if you've watched this and you were hoping for some amazing pearl and you already knew all this, well, sorry. But hopefully there's someone else out there. Well, not hopefully. Hopefully there's no one else out there making that dumb mistake. But if there is, uh, hopefully I've helped you to avoid the mistake that I made. You should be doing this often. I mean, just checking. It doesn't hurt to check every, you know, every week or two or even once a month just to make sure you're running the most up-to-date thing. One more thing to check, actually. If we go over to the printer, go to print, and actually, sorry, hold on a second. What's, it's not in here. It's, well, I didn't even do anything. It's up here. We should be able to look for materials, make sure that we have the latest 
uh, material profile settings as well. So that's also up to date. You can see the last time you updated it right here. So every once in a while you should check, hey, it's been a week or two. Let's go ahead and just search to see if there's been any updates. And that way, if they, if the um, developer, developers have found that, hey, you know what? We actually need to print things a little differently. That's how it's going to get fixed. So that's an, one more thing you need to update. Now that's most critical for using the desktop software if you're still using it. Um, the desktop, uh, the cloud version of the software should, uh, my assumption, um, be handling that itself. So if you're usually only using the cloud, the dashboard, then that, that part really doesn't matter. But if you are using the desktop version at all, then you need to make sure you're keeping your profiles up to date. So that's one of the, the advantages of the cloud is that it's updating all that for you. Uh, you never have to think about that, but you do have to still make sure your hardware is up to date. Um, at some point, it sure would be nice if that was triggerable from the dashboard or just automatically pushed, but for now. All right, guys, hopefully that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to, if, you know, I try to keep videos coming every once in a while. I'm not, you know, I'm not putting out videos every day, but uh, check out my YouTube channel if you want other videos, tips and tricks and uh, whatnot, software mostly, but uh, also some of these kind of printer tips. So, all right, bye for now.